dear students good morning now some questions from exercise tangent and normals exercise 6.3 question number 9 find the point on the curve y is equal to x cube minus 11x plus 5 at which the tangent is y is equal to x minus 11 here you have to find the point on this curve at which tangent is this y is equal to x minus 11 so first step you are given the equation of curve y is equal to x cube minus 11x plus 5 now you have to differentiate it differentiating with respect to x we get dy upon dx is equal to 3x square minus 11 after differentiating you get like this now the slope of tangent at any point x y will be equal to 3x square minus 11 this is slope of general tangent now you are given the tangent y is equal to x minus 11 that is a line so comparing it we get comparing with y is equal to mx plus c we get m is equal to 1 now above both slopes are equal because both are the tangents so 3x square minus 11 is equal to 1 so 3x square is equal to 12 x square is equal to 4 so we get x is equal to plus minus 2 now when x is minus 2 now you have to find the value of y from equation of curve in equation of curve you put x is equal to minus 2 that that will become y is equal to minus 2 q minus 11 minus 2 into minus 2 plus 5 that is equal to 19 so the point will be minus 2 19 similarly if you put x equal to 2 in the equation of curve we get y is equal to 2 cube minus 11 into 2 plus 5 we get minus 9 so the point will be 2 minus 9 this is the solution now there is another type of question find the equation of all lines having slope minus 1 that are tangent to the curve y is equal to 1 upon x minus 1 x is not equal to 1 because x equal to 1 make it 1 upon 0 that is not defined so in domain of this will be x not equal to 1 now the solution you are given y is equal to 1 upon x minus 1 now you can cross multiply it we get x minus 1 into y is equal to 1 now differentiate both side with respect to x here you see here are the product of two functions x minus 1 and y so use product rule in left hand side x minus 1 into d upon dx of y that is dy upon dx plus y into d upon dx of x minus 1 that will become 1 minus 0 so y into 1 minus 0 is equal to d upon dx of 1 that is 0 so we get this relation now you have y is equal to 1 upon x minus 1 so in place of y you put y is equal to 1 upon x minus 1 so dy upon dx will become minus y upon x minus 1 putting the value y is equal to 1 upon x minus 1 we get minus 1 upon x minus 1 whole square now the slope of tangent at any point general point it will become minus 1 upon x minus 1 whole square but the slope of tangent lines are given that is minus 1 so it means both the slopes are equal so you equate 
both slopes minus 1 upon x minus 1 whole square is equal to minus 1. Cross multiplying you get x minus 1 whole square is equal to 1. So x square minus 2x is equal to 0. Taking x common x minus 2 x into x minus 2 is equal to 0. This will give you x is equal to 0 or x equal to 2. Now when x is equal to 0 from the equation of curve we get y is equal to 1 upon 0 minus 1 that is 1 upon minus 1 which is equal to minus 1. So point x y become 0 minus 1. Similarly now the equation of line you have to find equation of tangent here m is equal to minus 1 it is already given and the point is 0 minus 1 so we use point slope form of the line we get y minus minus 1 is equal to minus 1 x minus 0 thus after calculation you get x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 now again you have other value of x that is 2 so from equation of curve y is put x equal to 2 in first so we get y is equal to minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 that become 1 thus the point is point x y become 2 1 now you have slope that is already given minus 1 slope of tangents and point x1 y1 is obtained from this 2 1 so we use the similar formula y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1 so putting the values y minus 1 is equal to minus 1 x minus 2 so after solution we get x plus y minus 1 is equal to 0 thus we get two tangents x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and x plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now there is another type of question, question number 13 from exercise, find points on the curve x square upon 9 plus y square upon 16 is equal to 1 at which the tangents are first parallel to x axis and in second part parallel to y axis. Steps are same. First you are given the equation of curve that is x square upon 9 plus y square upon 16 is equal to 1. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, we get 1 upon 9 is a constant. So differentiation of x square that is 2x, it will become 2x upon 9 plus 1 upon 16 is constant. So differentiation of dy square that is 2y dy upon dx is equal to differentiation of 1 that is 0. So we get 2x upon 9 plus 2y upon 16 dy upon dx is equal to 0. Thus we get dy upon dx is equal to minus 16 upon 9 x upon y. So slope of tangent at general point x y will become minus 16 upon 9 x upon y into x upon y. Thus now use the uh, first part that there is given tangents parallel to x axis. It means the slope of tangent is equal to slope of x axis because both are parallel and we know that slope of x axis is equal to 0. So minus 16 upon 9 x upon y is equal to 0. It means minus 16 x is equal to 0 thus we get x is equal to 0. So uh, put x equal to 0 in equation 1 which is the equation of uh, curve so we get y is equal to under root 16 bracket 1 minus x square upon 9 that will become y is equal to uh, 16 under root 16 that is y is equal to plus minus 4 so the point become 0 minus 4 and 0 comma 4 because point are in the form x comma y so 0 minus 4 and 0 4 these are the two points now second part tangent parallel to y axis if tangent is parallel to y axis it means slope of tangent is equal to slope of y axis 
we know that slope of y axis is 1 upon 0 so slope of tangent that is minus 16 upon 9 into x upon y is equal to 1 upon 0 so after cross multiplication we get 9y is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 thus y is equal to 0 now put the value of y in uh, equation of curve uh, that is from that x is equal to under root 9 bracket 1 minus y square upon 16 so we get x is equal to under root 9 so which is uh, the value of obtained is y x is equal to plus minus 3 so the points are 3 comma 0 and minus 3 comma 0 this is the solution now here is an example from your book find the equation of tangent to the curve given by x is equal to a sin q t y is equal to b cos q t here curves curve is in the parametric form so you have to find dy upon dx first but here x is the function of t and y is also function of t so we have to differentiate it with respect to t we get dx upon dt is equal to a common d upon dt of sin cube t that will become a into 3 sin square t into differentiation of sin t that is cos t so we get dx upon dt is equal to 3a sin square t cos t similarly dy upon dt we differentiate it with respect to t so we get uh, b into d upon dx of cos cube t and uh, it will become b into 3 cos square t into d upon dt of cos t so it will become b into 3 cos square t into minus sin t thus we get dy upon dt is equal to minus 3b cos square t sin t now we have to find dy upon dx we have the formula dy upon dx is equal to dy upon dt upon dx upon dt so put the value minus 3b cos square t sin t upon 3a sin square t cos t thus we get minus b upon a cot t here we are given a point where t is equal to pi by 2 so slope of tangent where t is equal to pi by 2 we have to put the value of t is pi by 2 we get minus b upon a cot pi by 2 and cot pi by 2 is 0 so it becomes 0 so slope of tangent m is equal to 0 now you have to find the points point is obtained when you put t is equal to pi by 2 in original equations these are from the equation of curve so x is equal to a sin q pi by 2 that is equal to a and sin pi by 2 is 1 1 q so we get it as a this is misprinted here it is a x is equal to a and y is equal to b into cos q pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 so it becomes 0 so the point x1 y1 will be equal to a comma 0 a comma 0 there uh, in place of 1 there is a so equation of tangent we use the formula y minus y1 is mx minus x1 so y minus 0 is equal to m m is 0 and into x minus a so x minus a multiplied with 0 we get 0 so y is equal to 0 is the required equation of the tangent to the curve now we have solution steps which will be very useful for finding solution 
first step will be you will be given equation of curve your first step will be find dy upon dx and then, then slope of tangent at a point x1 y1 just you can say m is equal to dy upon dx at point x1 y1 second step find point of point according to given condition condition will be given you have to find a point according to that next step for tangent we use the formula y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 for normal line we have to find slope slope is suppose capital m that will be minus 1 upon slope of tangent so minus 1 upon slope of tangent will give you the slope of normal so we again use the formula y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1 for normal line thus we can find uh, tangent line as well as normal line from these steps always remember two lines are parallel or coincident if their slopes are equal that means m1 is equal to m2 where m1 is the slope of first line and m2 is the slope of second line and if they are perpendicular if the product of their slopes is minus 1 that means m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 here another condition you have to remember two curves are perpendicular or orthogonal curves are perpendicular or orthogonal means where they intersect and their tangent at the intersection point are perpendicular to each other. So, uh, two curves are perpendicular or orthogonal if m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1, where m1 is the slope of tangent to the curve first and m2 is the slope of tangent to curve second at their intersection point. So you have to remember these steps. Now here is assignment to solve them. Thank you. Have a good day.